Hi, David here of Lancaster Honda. Here we've got a 2018 68 plate Honda HRV. It's the 1.5 VTEC petrol. And in this video, I'll just be showing you around some of the features it's got and the condition it's in. So it is an SE model with navigation. So what I'll do is I'll show you what that comes with. So first place we start with the nice diamond cut alloys. So they're in very good condition. As is the rest of the vehicle, really. I've not seen anything really up with it at all. So down the side, you can see the bodywork's fine. There's no issues with the paintwork at all. No scratches, no dints. I'll just get you to the other side as well. So I can show you a wing mirror cap is a commonly caught item on most vehicles. So as you can see again, very good condition there. There's driver side front alloy. And then as we move around the front, there are parking sensors on this vehicle. So there's one at each extremity there. You can just about see that. And then there's a couple either side of the number plate, just one there. and design so, onto the passenger side alloy so this is usually the most curb wheel on any vehicle and as you can see that one's in brilliant condition again so the previous owner of which is only one for this vehicle has definitely looked after it and it's also got full service history as well so if you are looking for one of these you want a very well looked after example you can definitely tell by the lack of wear and tear the full service history on this one it's definitely been looked after it's also only got that one owner so you know the previous owners looked after it well and there's fourth alloy once again no wear and tear on that one either so onto the back now you've also got parking sensors on the rear so four again so one a little bit higher up two lower down then you've got that one just a bit higher up again. What I'll do as well is just pop the boot open, just show you what sort of space you're dealing with. So quite a large boot and there's a little bit of storage. I say a little bit, I should say there's a lot of storage underneath as well. So you can fit a spare wheel underneath there. There's also a little strap if you want to keep something just underneath the lid. And then if you're wondering how you deal with a flat tire, you do have an inflation kit just behind here. I'll open it up, I may not be able to get it back on with one hand, but yeah. as you can see, you've got your tire inflation kit there and your fluid at the bottom. You've also then got a nice 12 volt power outlet up there, and the boot, so you can charge things in the boot if you need to. And then I'll just pop one of the seats down. So they do fold completely flat, you just need a little bit of weight on that just to pin it down. But I'll show you what that looks like from the back seats now. We'll just close the boot up. There your door handles just up here, nice and easy. So as you can see, I'll just hold that bit down there. It is completely flat all the way through. And that's because the seat base folds into the floor. So there's also two backrest positions in here. So as you can see, that one there leaves a little bit of a gap. It's a little bit more upright. And then what you can do is put it a little bit further back. And it's in line with the rest. So you do get a small little armrest in here. It's quite sturdy, actually. You'd be quite surprised how firm it feels. So it definitely take the weight. And then you've also got the magic seat system that you find in a lot of Honda vehicles. So you just fold the seat up and out the way, fold the base and locks in place. And in a vehicle of this size, you can get absolutely loads in the back if you need to. So if your boot's already full, it gives you a bit more space to store things. Or if you're carrying something a bit too tall vertically for the boot, it may fit in the back. So just before we hop in the front seat, there is a cup holder just here. And there's also a power outlet just there as well. So it's all quite compactly packaged. So we'll just jump into the front now. So as you get in, you do get electric windows all around. You've also got folding wing mirrors. Then you've got a little sort of panel down here with your economy button on there, parking sensors, lane departure warning, there's your alarm system, and there's your sort of vehicle stability assist, and your traction control. So I'll just hop in now, just get the key back out of my pocket, and we'll just start the engine up. So there you go, already started. Doesn't have any issues getting going. I'll just wait for all the signs to go. I'll get rid of that little lawn in there. Because it's for me not having a seatbelt on. So as you can see, the mileage 28,328. So it is quite low. And then just onto the features on the wheel. So you've got speed, uh, sorry, you've got cruise control with the speed limiter there. Then over on this side, you, this sort of lets you go through all your audio controls. So you've got maybe a station you're on with that one, the source you're dealing with, so AM, FM, DAB, maybe USB. 
and then you've got your volume as you're up and down and then I'll just get rid of the little sign there I'll just give it a second there we go and now if I use this one we can then flip through your nav your phone and your audio so that's just this little button up here and then the one at the bottom there just allows you to scan say presets and seek so it just sort of tells you what you're doing with it so it's more of a guide this button here just sort of changes depending on what screen you're on so say we go into navigation for example just wait for it to come on that then doesn't have a function there so it depends what you're on what it does so we'll see if it does anything with my phone because i'm not sure myself yeah so it just just shows you what your buttons do when you're on the uh, audio screen that bottom one so a nice little reminder there and over on this side, you've got your sort of trip computer controls just down here. So that's just for the screen over there. If you're wondering as well, you use these to sort your uh, tire inflation warnings out if you do get one of those. So I'll just show you quickly because many people ask about this. So you can go onto a little screen that gives you sort of menus. So there, select. And then deflation warning system. You can just go in there and then initialize it. Obviously, you've got to make sure that your tires are actually at the PSI they're supposed to be. But it's quite straightforward. So your trip computer is quite, quite easy to use, just three buttons, up, down and select. And over on the other side you've got your phone controls, so an answer, end call, and then you've got your voice control button there. So back over onto the screen in the centre then, so you do have navigation in this model. And there's our location currently. So you've got number one Northgate, White London Industrial Estate. Then you've also got multiple ways of connecting your audio up, so if you just hit top corner there where it's showing you what's currently on so it's currently DAB radio you can see it there then shows you you've got FM long wave medium wave CD USB input iPod which will also use the USB you've got phone so that'll be either Android Auto Apple CarPlay Bluetooth and HDMI so I'll show you where you can connect all those up in a moment but moving down from there you've then got dual zone climate control so passenger side sat on 17 driver side on 18 it's on auto at the moment if you want them on the same just press synchronize brings them back together and then you've got your demisters over on this side here so we'll leave that on for now just because it is a little bit warm it might be rainy but it's not a cold day and then we've got a nice six speed manual gearbox there electronic parking brake behind with a brake hold function and then you've got quite interesting sort of cup holder and armrest design here so i'll just move myself out of the way so that moves back and lifts up as well and you get a little storage area just under there and a slightly smaller one at the back exactly the right size for a credit card or debit card so quite a handy place to keep stuff at home and then over here you've got the interesting cup holders so you can make them a little bit deeper if you want to store a bottle for example so you can do that and if you're not storing a bottle and you maybe got a can in there just press that and it'll just hold it in place here so really straightforward and quite versatile you just press that but we'll leave it be for now so I'll just show you the vents over here and if you do want to see the service history for this vehicle it's usually going to be in the last photo of the advert but just before we end as I said I'd show you where to find the inputs for stuff so I'll just pop the door open I'll just show you that so it's just underneath here so it does keep you some give you somewhere to keep stuff out of the way so you've got USB HDMI another USB and then a 12 volt power outlet there so there's plenty of ways to connect your devices up and also a little tiny bit of storage just at the side down here so if there's anything I've not covered in this video or you'd like to come down and see the vehicle in person, just give us a call and we'll see what we can do to help you out. Thanks, take care, bye.